Hi, I'm Chris. I work at Bull Moose. It's almost Thanksgiving and I'm in my kitchen, which means two things are on my mind. First one is whether or not my sister-in-law is vegan. And the second one is, what's probably on your mind, which is the fantastic stuff that will be coming out at independent record stores on Friday. So, before we start, and I just, this, where do you see this stuff? Before we start, I want to share a little bit. And you, person watching this, are the reason for this good news. I don't know how many people know this yet, because the meat, it hasn't been picked up yet, but two different suppliers of ours have told me that their number of independent stores that they sell to is increasing. The number of, at the independent level, there are more stores than there were a few years ago. That's great news, and it's because of you. And I'm saying this whether you're a fan, whether you're an artist, whether you work at a label or a distribution company, or you're the lawyer who approved all these things, and you're thinking, what, 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 you know, what, 3,000 Bob Dylan, what's, what's that going to do? Well, what it does is it's created a lot of fun for music fans. And it gives us something to say, hey, about. So, hey, let's start with a seasonal title. So, Legacy went back into the Columbia vaults and found a whole bunch of old sermons and blues and jazz and stuff. And we have, what is it called? Death Might Be Your Santa Claus. And it's got songs with great names like Papa Ain't No Santa Claus, Mama Ain't No Christmas Tree by Butterbeans and Susie. And the uh, Reverend J.M. Gates from some recordings from 1939 and 1929 gives us Did You Spend Christmas Day in Jail? And Will Hell Be Your Santa Claus? Great, great stuff. And also Sonny Boy Williamson, Bessie Smith, Tampa Red. And hey, look, available on CD for those of you who may be turntably challenged. Now, if you love this stuff, you know... This what that's what this guy listened to when he was growing up, right? And um, okay, Bob Dylan. And the exciting thing about this is there's an outtake from the Blood on the Track sessions on the B side. Here we have a nice, very nice. Look at the color on that band of horses. And this one was mastered by my friend Adam Ayan, right here in Portland. He at from uh, Gateway Mastering. So score one for the home team. We have The Shins, Gene Clark, Link Ray, double seven inch, gatefold, very nice looking, very nice looking, and not one, not two, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, three Captain Beefheart seven inches, and if you say Captain Beefheart, who else comes to mind? Of course. Frank Zappa. So here we have with this Mothers of Invention 7-inch, this is the first appearance on vinyl of the new remasters that have been done of his catalog. Hopefully we'll be seeing more vinyl, and that vinyl will sound as good as some of those remasters did. And this is uh, Bernie Grundman did this one. We have Edward Sharp. Now, Volbeat must be Captain Beefheart fans because they have given us not one... Not two. Look at that nice noir artwork. I love that. But three picture discs. Very cool. A lot of music on these two. Gaslight Anthem with a 10 inch, three songs. Clear red vinyl, as you can see. Primus, check this out. Okay. The, the cover is green Naga Hide, and hopefully you can see. That this is real Naga Hide, if you can see the, the grain there. That's how you can tell the difference. And, of course, green vinyl. Yes, how could it not be? Nora Jones with a remix 10-inch. Um, yeah, people dug deep into the vaults again. Omnivore went back into Capital and United Artists' vaults to find us these nice six-track EPs of Merle Haggard, Period, you know, vintage rarities. We got Wanda Jackson. Just look at that smile, huh? And George Jones. He looks. He's good. Did you know? Yeah. Look at that jacket. This is the. This is it. And if that's not enough country for you, 
You also, maybe you need a peaceful, easy feeling. Yeah? And these are not lion eyes. That's right, I'm talking about Buck Owen Sings the Eagles. This is stuff from Hee Haw, ladies and gentlemen. Four tracks. And download card on this one, too. Now, one more country record we have. The fabulous Johnny Cash. And look at that. Fabulous in pink. There's a great story behind this next record I want to show you. And it's why you should never skip the used bins, because you don't know what you're going to find. Well, you do. You know sometimes you find something great. But have you ever found anything as cool as this guy found when he, for 75 cents at a flea market, found a Velvet Underground acetate with nine songs, from, demos of nine songs from their first album? Now, well, here they are. And uh, this is, these are also on the box set that just came out. Not the um, vinyl box set, but the CD box set has this stuff on it too. But, but maybe you, you want the record. Speaking of demos, Coheed and Cambria gives us eight demos from their last album. And another trio here. It seems that good things come in three with Record Store Day. It's part of the Record Store Day magic. We have one. Two, three Miles Davis albums, as you can see, 180 gram vinyl, pressed at RTI. They're all the mono mixes, just like the Johnny Cash was, and uh, gold foil stamped. I'll show you the Janis Joplin one later. They did Cheap, cheap Thrills. Well, that's a Big Brother record, but you know what I'm saying. And speaking of jazz, there's one more jazz record. Um, Tenacious D. Yeah, and look, he's doing like a, a Roland Kirk dealio there with the double thing. And uh, I don't know what to make of this, but I'm sure it will be very interesting. And I actually can't wait to hear it. Um, so Nirvana, here we are. Um, this is one of those 45 RPM deals where they uh, uh, split it up one record over two records. Um, and... It's a long story that I couldn't explain well, but it's, it's to make it sound better. That's why they do it at 45. And a lot of people are excited for Insecticide by Nirvana. Here we have a 10-inch with the score. Just look at the nice art for the uh, Wes Anderson movie, um, Moonrise Kingdom. And uh, this one was also mastered here in Portland by Adam Ayn at Gateway Mastering. That's two points for Portland. All right, now, some metal. So... Um, Mayhem. That's what that says. This is that stuff in there. Mayhem is also a Bork Nagar record. This is the back of the Mayhem. Just like you may have some more metal. Oh, here's the Janis Joplin I was talking about. There she is. Very good. Again, mono mix because we've already had the stereo cheap thrills, right? Yep, last year. Now, John Mayer is going for a vintage look here, and he's got uh, this is five songs on here, um, four are acoustic, and another one for Portland. Three points. This one is Bob Ludwig did this one and uh, mastered this. Okay, now, Incubus fans, I just want to let you know that most of the stores where you might be shopping will buy things from you. CDs you don't need, maybe DVDs, video games, records. So the whole point is you got, you're going to need some money because there are one, two, three, four, actually five, I don't have a fifth one, five of Incubus's albums are coming out on vinyl this Friday and they're all long so they have to make them into double albums, they're on 180 gram vinyl and they're just a lot of weight, and of course the packaging is, is gorgeous, so um, might be a nice first record purchase for someone who's an Incubus fan who hasn't bought a lot of records. Now as Dr. Dog shows us here, you don't have to put music in grooves on a record. You can just put a cool etching of a bunch of guys on one side, and then you can put all five songs you want to release on the other side. That's very cool. Dr. Dog did that. Here is the cover. Here is the CD that comes inside for your convenience. Let's look at some twelve. Uh, let's look at some picture discs, shall we? Yeah. 
is marquee, huh? Look at that, reissue. And it comes with this nice postcard that actually has grooves on it. You could play that too, put that on your turntable. And look, you know, this, this reminds me back when, when rap was really serious. King Diamond, no presents for Christmas. Sorry, man. There you go. Ding. Now, how about Judas Priest? Picture disc. Very cool. This is a whole Screaming for Vengeance album. Now, there's a picture disc that I'm, that I'm not going to show you because I don't want to open the package and spoil it because I know that somebody else would much rather bring this home and open it for themselves. Yes, look. It's a pizza box of the first Fat Boys record, the one with Stick'em, that made me and all my friends try to beatbox. And uh, we were just, we were really good, too. It's amazing that none of us got famous. And the record itself is a picture disc that looks like, of course, yes, a pizza. A pepperoni pizza. And um, I'm sure it's vegan for my sister-in-law, who actually I found out she's not vegan anyway, so it's all good if you were worried about that. Um, now, one last, sort of like a picture disc here. Red and green vinyl. This has This Christmas by uh, Donny Hathaway and CeeLo Green. And if you check it out, look, the old Salatco Atco label, and we get an old-looking Electra label. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Rhino, for being so creative with that. And we got The Stones. And we got Jeff the Brotherhood. And we have Toro y Moi. Mm-hmm. Yes. Joe Strummer. Joe Strummer, double live album. And look, individually numbered, but this is not stamped. That's by hand. Now, look, the Lumineers, the Winter EP has four songs that are not available anywhere else, and they are, of course, getting very, very, very popular. They're going to be huge, so you're going to need that for your collection. Speaking of huge, we have this giant, heavy, boy, this, this thing must weigh at least 360 grams because it's a double album by the Grateful Dead. Whole concert, previously unreleased. Unless you're a tape trader, then you've had this for um, 31 years. And uh, anyway, anyway, oh yeah, 180 gram vinyl, very well pressed, and, and Chris Bauman cut the lacquers so you know it's going to be good. I'm going to show you the track listing. Hopefully you can see that so you can get excited for it, but not as excited as you might be for Love's classic album, Forever Changes. Everybody who has any interest in 60s music 60s rock or psychedelic music should own this on CD or vinyl. It's wonderful. Again, Chris Bauman, 180 gram, well pressed. And uh, there's a 7 inch in here that contains an unreleased edit of the song Alone Again or. Now, Reservoir Dogs soundtrack. Now, this is cool just because it exists, but it's even cooler because it comes on like six different colors of vinyl and you won't know what color you get till you open it up. So there's a little surprise in there for you. Let's see, M83 with a very cute picture on the cover. And the last three things I could have to show you, Skrillex, Skrillex, Skrillex. What I can't show you are some of the other great things, but you can go to the Record Store Day website or to uh, Bull Moose's website for more information and find out about the White Stripes. <laughs> It's just too many things. There's 89 of them, ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember them all. White Stripes I missed. Uh, one of the Ramones I missed. There's um, Bowie and, gosh, lots of other cool stuff. You should just go to the websites and check them out. Thank you. Your local store looks forward to seeing you on Friday. I look forward to seeing you where I'm going to be. And, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and a wonderful, um, wonderful time to get home with your purchases Friday. Thank you. I forgot about the Beach Boys. Sorry.